Hello and welcome to another edition of Other Jam. Today's topic, um, one of my other legendary characters that most of you probably never heard of, uh, Stork. Now, who is Stork? Stork is basically, to sum it up, the average Joe. He's just an ordinary guy who happens to be a stork. <laughs> he used to deliver babies, now he sells insurance. It's it's a weird... He's like the number two behind Spotty of my oldest continuing characters of who, you know... And then what's hard is writing Stork. You, you don't want to make him too similar to Spotty, which I struggle with as a writer. Like, how do I make these two different? So, Spotty, I chose to make the idiot. Stork, I chose just to make the everyday guy, where he's just average intelligent and has more real-life issues than, say, Spotty, where Spotty is more whimsical and could be kind of a real-based issue, but not really that in-depth compared to Stork, where Stork has more real-life issues. So he's the more realistic of the two. But, um, yeah, Stork, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's uh, getting harder to write. I'll admit that. I have really no new ideas for Stork stories. But, but like Spotty, he can make a cameo here or there, so he probably won't die. And then I created characters, then Stork has other characters like Hawk and Mole and Deer and Mr. Hunter and St. Dogcatcher, Bark, Zack, and his girlfriend, I think, uh, Ashley. I don't, I don't know what I recently named her because I didn't name her for a while. And then, um, yeah. But yeah, Stork, I mean, again, he's just one of my oldest and respectable characters, you know. He's a legend in my in my mind. Like, he's the number two, I mean. And then he's in, like, cro his crossover appeal. Like, he was in The Lost Worlds of Buck. Stevenson is a central character. Then he was in, like, you know, again, I always, even though they're, they're kind of their own stories, I love the fact that I could pair Spotty and Stork together as Stork the straight man, Spotty as the crazy guy, you know. Like, it's just they could be a duo themselves, even though they have their own stories and own inner circle. But yet I can combine them, you know. So I can hint at they're in the same universe. Even if it's not Lost Worlds of Bucks Seasons and Scenario, they're they're in the same universe, you know. And then what's cool is um Stork again is it's a lot like Spotty. Like, um you know, it's uh he um he uh in a way like Stork interacts lives with humans and a few talking animals, so kind of like a Hannibal Bear scenario, like a Huckleberry Hound or a Yogi Bear, where he's in the human world, but yet he could talk, and he's one of them, kind of like a Hong Kong Fooey. And Stork, you know, he's just a cartoon, you know, and he's more the average Joe, and there's not nothing else, nothing else much to say about that. Stork is, you know, the second oldest continuing character, and he's the average guy, and he's getting hard to write for. But I think the next story I thought about working on is him finally marrying his girlfriend, so... And the girlfriend's usually, it's like, you gotta have Minnie to have a Mickey, it's just, that's what originally was. But I thought, you know, screw it, I can't do anything, let me get them married. Beat that, Mickey.